This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to download and install JourneyMap for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Step number one is to go ahead and click that second link in the description, which will bring you over here, which is our written guide on how to download and install JourneyMap. If you don't want to read through the guide, just scroll down to step one and click JourneyMap. I'll bring you over here, where in files, you're going to look for 1.21. In this case, we're going to download the Forge version. However, if you have Fabric or NeoForge, you could also download that version and add it to your certain mods folder for Fabric or NeoForge. But in this instance, we're going to download the 1.21 for Forge. So just look for the most recent one, 1.21. 21, click on these three dots and click download files and within five seconds the download will begin for journey map now while journey map is downloading i have to let you know about today's sponsor apex hosting if you're looking for a minecraft server either a java or a bedrock server or a server that is hosted online so you don't have to worry about ip attacks ip leaks or anything so your friends could join at any moment without any issues then apex hosting is the perfect service for you they offer over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button they have locations all around the world so no matter where you are you will have a good connection and something that i personally love about apex hosting is that you could actually access the server console through your phone which means that you could be away from the house and stuff and still either create your server and then access your server and change the settings kick people out do whatever you want to do through the server console because it is your server i'm going to leave that first link in the description for 25 percent off get that deal while it lasts and now let's keep going with the tutorial after we download journey map let's go ahead and join and drop that jar file that we just downloaded into our desktop and at this point if you already have forge 1.21 installed in your computer just go ahead and add this mod into your mods folder and that's it you're set you already have journey map however i'm assuming most of you don't have forge installed which is the mod loader that is going to to allow us to use journey map so that is what we're going to do next click the third link in the description which is a written guide on how to download and install forge you have this guide in here that you can read through and you also have videos in this channel on how to install forge however if you want to do all of this real quick click that third link scroll down to step one and click download forge here that redirect over here where obviously we're going to download the 1.21 version which as you can see is already selected here however always make sure that it is selected and then just click on installer here on the 1.21 version that will redirect you over here where you don't have to click anything all you have to do is wait five seconds it will take five seconds okay and after five seconds you will see this skip button here on the top right and that is where you're going to click after five seconds so go ahead and click on skip and the download for the installer of forge will begin automatically now once the installer of forge downloads let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop just like we did with the journey map before for the next step you have to make sure that you have closed your minecraft launcher as well as your minecraft game and also it is extremely important that you have played minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer and then that you close out of it that is to create an instance of minecraft 1.21 before installing in Forge 1.21. Once you've done that, simply right click on Forge and then click open with and click Java and that will open the Java installer or the installer of Forge, which is going to look like this. And as you can see, install client is selected. Just go ahead and hit OK. The only issue that I could imagine that you have while trying to open Forge is that you're not able to open it because you don't have Java 21. Because Java 21, it's required, it is a requirement for you to install Forge 1.21. The thing is that after Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.20.5, you now need Java 21 to install any mods or use any jar file with Minecraft. So I'm going to leave this guide in the description in case you need to update to Java 21. Again, some of you every now and then say in the comments, that you didn't get to open the installer or it opened as a web document or something totally random. So just make sure you install Java 21 and then you might have to head over to Outer Remote Programs and then get rid of your older versions of Java. So simply go to Outer Remote Programs, look for your older Javas and then remove them and then you'll be able to open the installer after you install Java 21. Again, it is a requirement. Java 21 is required for my Once you install Forge, just go ahead and click on OK and now you can even delete the installer. You don't need it anymore. So select it and delete it. That simple. Now go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher to finally see our Forge install. Now, when the Minecraft launcher open, if we install Forge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. And then the next step will be to add the journey map mod into Forge. So to do that, just head over to installations and make sure in here that modded is selected because without modded, we actually won't see Forge in here. So just make sure you select modded and then Forge will come up. If Forge doesn't come up when you select modded, just quickly click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting, since they'll give you 25% off the first link in the description. And then for the version in here, just look for Forge. Usually typing in Forge helps. And then you will see release 1.21 in there. Select that and then click create here on the bottom right and that'll make an instance of Forge. No matter the case, either if you saw Forge in here or if you had to create it yourself, just hover over Forge and then click on this little folder. And that is going to open a folder with a lot of files in it. As you can see, it has a lot of things in it, but we're specifically looking for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my mods folder is right here. There's a small chance, however, that you don't have the mods folder. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete mine because there is a chance that you don't have it. And all you have to do if you don't have the mods folder is click on new, 
click folder and then you guessed it, just name it mods, M-O-D-S, mods. So yeah, you could create the mods folder yourself if you don't have it. So once you create that mods folder, just go ahead and open it. And even if you didn't have to create it, just go ahead and open it. And now just drag and drop the journey map mod into this folder. So simply drag and drop that file that we downloaded in the first step into this folder. And now you have the journey map in here. You could close from this folder. You could even delete that file from your desktop because you don't need it in the desktop anymore. Go back into your Minecraft launcher and now launch Forge because when we now added the mod into the mods folder, it is extremely important, however, that you make sure that all the mods in your mods folder are compatible with each other. So in this case, all the mods that we have in the mods folder have to be Forge 1.21 mods because if we have fabric mods or Neo Forge, there's a small chance or actually there's a chance that it will crack. Once you have added the mod in there, just go ahead and launch the Forge instance within the Minecraft launcher. You might have to click this little prompt in here and then hit play again and just wait for Forge to open. Now, once Minecraft opens, as you can see, it says Forge everywhere. So we know that we're in the Forge version and we also have this mods option in here, which will let us actually see the mods that we install. And as you can see, Journey Map is here, but we're still going to go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and launch a world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer world because Journey Map is actually a client side mod, which means it will work on servers. And if again, if you need a server, you just use that first link in the description and you could create your own server. And as you can see, we're now here in the world. We're now here in the game and Journey Map is completely working on the top right. As you can see, you could actually press the letter J on your keyboard. So just go ahead and press J and I'll open the Journey Map here. As you can see, all big and you have all these options in here. You could customize the map. You could change the settings, the position, the size, everything that you might need to customize with Journey Map to make it look however you want. But that is pretty much how to download and install Journey Map for Minecraft 1.21. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it was useful, don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.